Abdelkader Hassan, the spokesperson of the Ahmed Front and its political party, criticized a law banning double nationalists from running for elected offices in Ethiopia. He said the objective of the law was to exclude educated people who had the experience of good governance from the power corridors of the country. It was well-known unfair legislation put up by Mele Senawi and the TBLF group to shield themselves from well-educated people who opposed their oppression, people who knew how the world is governed and compared that with Ethiopia. Abdelkader Hassan, however, said on left candidates are willing to relinquish their second nationalities in order to run for offices in the Somali region. He said foreign passports will not stop them. The ONLF spokesperson, on the other hand, called on the people of the Somali region of Ethiopia to unity. He promised that the people of the region, united, will acquire bigger representation in the federal government and gain a bigger slice of the national pie and more rights of home self-rule. <laughs> We can get our lost rights, more members in the parliament. We can get our missing share in the federal government. We can also have more federal budget allocation and greater powers given to us. The first elections in Serbia after 2018 reforms led by Prime Minister Sabi Ahmed are expected in the country next year in April. ONLF will contest the election in the Somali region of Serbia and will attempt to raise power from the prosperity power led by Premier Abiy Ahmed. Abdullah Hassan reporting for CBA.